What's going on, everybody? I think I'm going to reorder the way I had the videos to be posted out, so some of them might not make sense about me talking about going into overtime on some subjects. But this here probably needs to be talked about. Um, in blowout forums, uh, Kenny Golden, who, uh, well, used to be the owner, I guess, of Golden Auctions, made a post uh, basically pulling a PSA 10 Michael Jordan rookie card from their auction, the lot was number eight, because they felt that it was not a true PSA 10 in their assessment. I know what people are thinking. Uh, hold on with the comments of writing it out yet till you hear the whole story on this, because people are going to say that they're, you know, colluding with each other and all this other stuff. But hear the whole story before you, before, before you come up with a final conclusion, because I have some... I have some thoughts about this, and I'll probably share a part of it during this here, depending on how long I talk for. So, all right. So, I'm going to pull this up, and I'll put a link to this as well into the description so you guys can follow it, too, if you want to, like, bookmark it. It's quite interesting. All right. Let me blow this up some. All righty. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see this a little better. So th this here, of course, is Kenny Golden. It's important for Golden to ensure that everything we sell is as described, is authentic. Oh, sorry, guys. Had like a little bit of indigestion there. Is authentic and meets the standards we set as a company. Okay. You know, kind of makes sense. Given this, we have removed lot number eight, which is the Michael Jordan PSA 10 Fleer Rookie. From the current July auction, we noticed upon examination of the card that it may not warrant a PSA 10 gem mint um, assessment. I know, kind of crazy. Just that one little piece there just kind of makes you think. We informed PSA of the issue, and with our co-signer's approval, we will be sending the card back to PSA for review. I don't know what that costs, what the person has to pay. It'll be quite interesting if we're actually going to be able to see the outcome of this. So I'm going to skip through part of the stuff there because they uh, form all bidders. The card was replaced with a new blah, 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 and all that stuff. It's important for Golden Auctions to ensure that all cards we sell are as described, meet the standards we set as a company. Huh. Now, as everybody knows, Golden Auctions bought out by uh, the collector's holding that owns basically PSA. A lot of people have been saying, oh, well, that's not good, da-da-da, and all this stuff. This starts throwing a little bit of light onto the subject here because he didn't give us a whole lot into this. He just wanted to put it out there, and I, I think he should have went more in the explanation because people started hitting it up. I mean, th this is where it is right here by collector's group. Did you just walk over and hand it to them in their cubicle? I mean, it it's funny because you kind of do get trolled on stuff like this here. I presume given your pr prompt response here that if the owner of the card and purchases a 10 and PSA reconsidered and regrading it, that they would get some kind of monetary compensation back from PSA. Well, basically what he's trying to say there is that the guy bought the cars a 10, paid X amount of dollars. Now it comes back a 9 or an 8 by PSA standard because somehow it, I'm doing air quotes so everybody knows, slipped through the cracks. You know, it, it's one of the good questions. Are now, now I will tell you guys, I'm going to go down. Uh, Ken did respond down here again into it. Uh, there it is. So here's his next, I think this might be his last response. Let me just make sure. No, he has one more. All right. Some interesting and surprising takes. Golden is an independent company that operates independently. I have no involvement in PSA business. They have none in mind. Well, which to a consent, that is a true statement because he's saying he has no involvement in PSA. He doesn't. Collector's um, Holdings does, or Collector's Universe, whatever they want to go by. I think they go by uh, Collector's Holdings now or something. PSA doesn't have any any business with him either, which is a true statement. 
but they're both owned by one bigger holding company, so they kind of fall underneath the umbrella. So the card was pulled with full knowledge and consent of signer. We would not send his or any other cards to any basically grading company without their consent. They have to. They have to get consent of the consigner. You just can't take something because you're worried about it. Because otherwise, you would need to do that with every card that comes through there. Because trust me, between all these auction houses, there's plenty of fakes going on out there. The card was pulled for reasons outlined in this thread, and it's on there, the link. Now, this is where I, I don't really understand because the wording is bad. There is no world in which a grading company, who if there is an errant grade on a card makes the owner whole, financially benefits from this action, honestly a ludicrous, a ludicrous take there. So it almost sounds like if PSA graded the card wrong, the person shouldn't get reimbursed. Am I reading that correctly? So if I'm reading that wrong or interpreting it wrong, please hit me up in the comments because that statement there to me is saying, any grading company out there, who, if there is an errant grade on a card, makes the owner whole. There is no world in which a grading company who, if there is an errant grade in a card, makes the owner whole. I, I say no, because they graded that card originally. As a tennis, probably changed hands a few times. If people put the right serial numbers in, it's probably trapped. I think that owner should be reimbursed for the cost of the card if you grade it lower. I really do because you failed at that. As anyone who follows this form, we are all, we are the only only big capital uh, word there major auction house that posts here that informs of issues here and are that and that regularly pulls any card that is altered even if it's graded by a TPG. Kind of interesting. I mean, there's a cool uh, reply there, but it says, I am literally treated like any other large auction house by PSA. I'm sure something with this profile, Collector's Holding has to probably want to be getting involved in this because you're talking, there's something wrong with two of your sub companies that you're basically running. I don't know. That said, if I'm informed of the final outcome, I'm allowed to share, I will 100% do so here. I honestly think they should have to share this to everybody. Because this is a, I mean, what's it take? Does it have to take Wayne Gretzky to be part of it, um, the deal, in order for it to be public knowledge all over the place? And if you don't know what I mean by the Wayne Gretzky thing, he was the uh, owner of the very first PSA uh, uh, graded um, Honest Wagner that was actually trimmed. They ended up getting sold, I think it was to a group, but I know part of it was like the owner of the Diamondbacks or something like that, and to find out the card was trimmed. It, it kind of makes me really... I know he's not speaking on behalf of PSA, and he can't speak on behalf of, of the uh, Collector's Universe Holdings, whatever it is. He can only speak on behalf of Golden Auction. I probably would have reworded this and been like, listen, I cannot speak on behalf of collectors holdings or on PSA. I can only tell you that this is what we found wrong, got with the the co or the consigner, and we told him we had to pull it. We had one of two options. It was either gonna go back to him, or two, we could have it sent to PSA and reconfirm the grade. I, I think that's where I would have probably left it at instead of uh, back going through it all and, you know, start talking about PSA. You know, I still think this one statement up here, from right here, there is no world in which a grading company who, if there is an errant grade in a card, makes the owner whole, financially benefits from this action, honestly a ludicrous take there. I don't know, I mean, I don't know, the other way I'm reading this, that it, it could mean that the PSA is just going to keep it as a 10 because they don't want to keep a loss on the card and pay off to it. I, I don't know, but to me, for when I first started reading it, it just makes the owner whole. It means paying the uh, owner back if it grades a 9. 
I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this. I'm going to keep my eye on this. And we'll talk about it during overtime if you guys are in the chat. Again, it's nothing against Golden Auctions. It's nothing against PSA. It's nothing against, you know, Collector's Universe slash Holdings, whatever it is out there now. But when you're all underneath the same umbrella, it's it starting to make it look different. And then putting this out into a public statement. I mean, granted, the guy that has that card could be, you know, somebody with some wealth and some... Um, I don't want to say clout, but, you know, enough of a background or following where he could make a video or do a post somewhere. And next thing you know, it's everywhere out there. But it's quite interesting. Very quite interesting on to it all. Let's see if they'll let me pull this up here. I don't know. He, he referenced this page here, and I'm trying to see if he wrote on it or something. Because to me, it just sounds... Oh, this maybe is it here. Maybe this is the card. Let me... I don't know. I, I didn't look at the auction to know what the serial number is on to it. Maybe it's this one here. But that's just a back picture, anyhow. I don't know. I don't know why he referenced this to begin with. I figured I'd blow the picture. It just dawned on me. Maybe it was something. It was on there already. But I wanted to bring this up because I know people are going to probably start talking about it eventually. At the same time frame, I want to see what everybody here thinks as well, too, onto it. And just that one statement kind of throws me off with the wording. I, I don't know how to take that offhand. And, and above this, they talks about being reimbursed, you know. Mm -hmm. It would seem to me that that only the grading companies benefit from a world in which GoSign and Oxo start requiring graded cards to be reviewed and graded again to confirm what our eyes are. They tell us. It could be doing with this, too, and that's what I'm talking about here. I, I don't know. It just doesn't sound right offhand by doing it. I don't know. It, it, there, there's a lot to it. But let me know what you guys think. I know the video is going on, and I'm just trying to read, read more and more into this. I just, I'm not sure about it. I'm just not offhand. It, it, there's something about it that makes me feel uneasy overall. Let me know, like I said in the comments, what you guys think. If you're around for overtime Friday night, come in. It'll probably be, this might start us off on overtime at 11 o'clock, to be honest. I'm going to keep a watch on this for the next, uh, well, up until overtime. And just see if there's any more that comes out onto it. But quite interesting. Very quite interesting offhand. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good week. I'll catch you all later.